Are you bored with your regular bike? If yes, then why don't you consider buying a Can-Am Spider RT Limited? This trike is going to change how you look at motorcycles. However, not everyone is comfortable with a three-wheeled bike, so you should first understand what this bike offers before you spend your hard-earned money. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to tell you whether the Can-Am Spider RT Limited is right for you or not. The 1330cc Rotax engine with 115 claimed horsepower powers the Spider RTS. Despite weighing more than 1,000 pounds when fully fueled, the Spider RT is not a scorcher despite having a sufficient amount of horsepower. The majority of the punch is delivered in the low and mid range with a smooth and predictable power onset. The engine is made to require less maintenance, which is great for a vehicle that is designed to consume miles. Given that the Spider's power to weight ratio is roughly half that of typical motorbikes, one could anticipate that the vehicle would accelerate less quickly. But you'd be mistaken. The large RT leaps out of curves and pulls away from stops quickly, providing exhilarating acceleration throughout the RPM range. Even jackrabbit starts have the potential to briefly dislodge the back tire before the traction control engages. The six-speed semi-automatic transmission's paddle shifters are located on the left switch gear, and they allow for incredibly quick upshifts. Each shift produces a tactile power surge when ridden hard, energizing riders. Lower ratios can be selected manually using the paddle shifters, or the electronically controlled transmission will automatically change as you slow down and shift into neutral when you come to a halt. The Spider has an electrically operated parking brake and the reverse function comes in very handy when backing out of a downhill parking space. The throttle by wire mechanism used by the Spider occasionally causes reactions to be delayed. Initial throttle application revealed a notable latency in both the standard and eco ride modes, and the fuel efficient eco mode has erratic power pulses at slower speeds. Once the Spider is moving, these problems disappear and the huge triple maintains its ultra smoothness throughout the remaining rev range. The RT Limited cruises along with ease on the wide road. The Spider maintains 70 miles per hour in sixth gear at 3,600 RPM, far below its red line of 8,100 RPM, and its relaxed engine speed minimizes harshness and vibration. For a rapid pass, a few strokes on the paddle shifter bring the engine's torque peak closer. Alternatively, you may put the vehicle on cruise control and sit back to relax. The Vehicle Stability System or VSS of the Spider was an early innovation that incorporated anti-lock brakes, electronic brake force distribution, traction control, and stability control into a single system. With inputs from a variety of steering, engine speed, wheel speed, and other sensors, the original 2007 Spider's VSS would limit engine power or brake individual wheels to maintain directional control. Dynamic powering steering was standard on those early Can-Ams as well. Over the course of 15 years, Spider's electronic rider aids have undergone steady development. Present-day models use the same fundamental mechanisms outlined above, but these advancements allow for faster response times and more progressive intervention. Keeping the brakes on while going uphill is made easier by the hill hold mechanism that comes standard on the RT Limited. The Spider is held in place by three sacks shocks, two non-adjustable big bore shocks up front and a self-leveling air shock in the back. Independent wheel movement and a front anti-roll bar make it possible for the car to remain stable on rough roads and off camber turns. The shocks have been tuned to provide a smooth ride and can withstand substantial impacts without damaging the chassis. However, it can be difficult to avoid large potholes or road debris when you have three independent wheel tracks. Well, you don't need to be a scientist to realize this. Just look at the size of this bike. It isn't going to turn easy. The reverse trike layout of the Spider improves both stability and traction, but the extra wheel also alters the way the vehicle handles. A learning curve may be necessary for motorcyclists accustomed to the two-wheel counter-steering style. The Spider's traditional steering will feel natural to individuals who are used to operating all-terrain vehicles or snowmobiles. A slight squeeze on the outside handlebar will cause the bike to make a U-turn. The pressure is to be kept up if the line is to be held. Dynamic power steering increases aid at low speeds and decreases assistance at high speeds to help overcome the turning resistance of the Spider's two large contact patches up front. Spiders are sensitive to tiny inputs at speed because the front contact patches are so much larger than the single. Little contact patch on a motorcycle. Even while later models have addressed the issue, the darty sensation that was common in older ones still exists. 
After a certain number of miles, riders learn to steer with different amounts of input. Leaning one's body into a turn at high speeds helps mitigate the effects of centrifugal forces. Although it does not improve the spider's turning speed, it does make the rider feel more stable and in charge. In older spiders, applying brake pressure involved using both the handlebar lever and the foot pedal, but in recent models only the foot pedal is used. It may take some time for riders who are accustomed to using their right hand to adjust the brake pressure, utilizing their fine motor control to adjust to using the foot pedal solely. The spider's triple disc brakes and three large contact patches allow it to quickly reduce speed and stop quickly. Can Premium Am's touring lineup consists of the RT Limited and the RTC to Sky, the latter of which comes with unique cosmetic enhancements. Electric windscreens, integrated backrests for passengers, heated grips and heated seats for the driver, and front seat traveler are all included as standard features. The RT Limited may be towed up to 400 pounds, providing more space for those that need it. Trailer hitchers and other towing equipment are available from Can Accessory Am's log. Even though Can-Am isn't selling the Freedom Trailer anymore, the RT Limited is set up to tow behind the older models and will function with aftermarket trailers. Both the driver's and passenger seats are heated and provide sufficient comfort and support for long travels. Saddle comfort and rider stability are enhanced with a wide seat, pan, abundant padding, and a lumbar support rear bolster. Both the rider and the passenger can stretch their legs and put their feet wherever they like. Thanks to the handlebars, which sweep back to them for simple relaxed control. The Spider's comfortable seat is perfect for long trips, but the infotainment system is hopelessly out of date compared to modern rivals. When compared to the TFT displays used in competing high-end tourers, the 7.8-inch color LCD panel's color, reproduction and clarity fall short. The trip information it provides is extensive, though, and includes a speedometer, tachometer, gear position indicator, fuel gauge, and thermometer. The RT Limited comes standard with the BRP Audio Premium System, which has six speakers, four up front and two in the back, a radio and USB and Bluetooth connectivity. There are buttons on the left switch gear for operating system, and a USB charging connector is located in the front storage area. The sound system surrounds the driver and passengers, and the volume adjusts automatically when the vehicle accelerates or slows down. Riders can check their messages, make and take calls, and listen to music over Bluetooth by syncing their smartphones with the BRP Connect app. The Spider's controls may be used to operate BRP Connect and its incorporated apps. So if you're looking for a bike that is comfortable and safe, then the Spider RT Limited is the perfect one for you. So that's all the time we had, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time, folks.